Okay, so we're going to try um, numbers three and four on this practice sheet where we're going to draw our box first. We have a monomial times a binomial. So we're going to draw a box that is two up and three across. Again, this box here is just kind of a blank to remind us that we're multiplying. We're going to fill in our polynomial on the outside edges of the box. So here we are going to put 2x, or is it v? I don't know my glasses on. 2v, nope, 2x, 2x, because we're taking this monomial and putting it here. And then we're going to take what's in the parentheses and put it across the top. So negative 2x minus 3. And I'm going to cross that out so it doesn't look like it's part of the problem. Step 3 is to multiply to get each box's value. We've got negative 2 times positive 2, so we're going to get negative 4. And we have x times x, so we're going to end up with x squared. And then we have negative 3 times positive 2, so we get negative 6. There's no x here, but there is one here, so there is our answer. We are going to rewrite our answer in standard form, which is negative 4x squared minus 6x. Questions on number three? Okay, then let's try number four. It's very similar, monomial times a binomial. On the outside, we're going to put in first the first polynomial, and then we're going to put v plus one up here. Again, writing the positives and negatives can really help keep track. We're multiplying negative 4 times positive v, so we end up with negative 4v. And negative 4 times positive 1 is going to end up being negative 4. And we're going to rewrite this as negative 4v minus 4. Next, you'll notice we've got binomials times binomial, and that's going to be the case on most of the rest of this page. So I'm going to have us go back to our notes that we'll be putting into our notebooks. And we're going to open this up because this also has a lot of binomials times binomials. This honestly is closer to the kinds of boxes I usually make. I've got four boxes here because that's where my answers are going to go when I multiply. I'm going to put the 4x minus 3 here. And I'm going to put the 2x plus 7 up here. If you would prefer that to have boxes around all of it, that's completely up to you. You could draw this out all the way if you want. So again, step one is draw your box. Step two, write the polynomials you are multiplying on the outside edges of the box. Step three, multiply to get each box's value. Those steps are the same as we've been practicing, but we're going to get something additional where we'll use step four in a moment. Let's multiply. These two are going to go here, these two here. Again, this is just like a times table. These two will go to this space, and this one and this one will go here. 2x times 4x is 8x squared. 
what are we going to put in this space down here? Negative 6x because 2 times negative 3 got us a negative 6 and x is just being brought down because there's nothing over here to multiply the x by. And then 7 times 4 gives us 28x. And what goes into our last box? Negative 21. I would like you to look at step four here. Like terms can be found on the diag diagonals of your box. We're going to combine them. I see like terms right here. Do you see what I mean by that? This is where people make mistakes because we're going from multiplying to adding now. When we're taking what I have in green, we're multiplying those to get what I put in orange. Once they're multiplied, we're combining like terms and combining like terms is adding. So I'm gonna rewrite this as eight X squared minus 6x plus 28x minus 21. These two are like terms, so I'm going to combine them. And my final answer is 8x squared plus 22x minus 21. Step five is to make sure it is in standard form. And remember, standard form has, oops, the highest exponent here, which I didn't even write it down. I missed the squared part. Uh, 8x squared, because that x squared, it goes first, x goes second, and this has no variable, so it goes at the end. This has no box because step one is setting up your own box. So I'd like you to practice setting this one up. And we will check in just a moment. Go ahead and try multiplying it on your own. Let's do some comparisons of yours to mine. Both binomials in this multiplication problem are 3x minus 1. So both this side and this side ended up with 3x minus 1. When I multiplied them, I got 9x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 1. If I combine these like terms, I end up with negative 6x. So I can rewrite this answer as 9x squared minus 6x plus 1. Questions on that one before we go on? Who feels like they're ready to just do some practice now? Okay. Before I, let, let's do practice in this booklet and then we'll come back together before we go back to the worksheet. Can I get you to look at the other side? Because this looks tricky here. 
when I have 2x minus 1 squared, that can be rewritten as 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. So just keep that in mind as you're setting up that problem.